Hi, um, <clears throat> uh, Bismillah, my name is Salam Tabukat, and uh, good afternoon to all my friends, colleagues, and random people on YouTube. Uh, today is uh, Friday, the 5th, uh, 2012, a little after Friday, uh, after after 2, 2 p.m. And uh, this is my um, uh, this is my current project. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint uh, the, uh, the the top cap uh, the top cap of uh, my, the uh, of my uh, of the engine, my car engine. Okay, so I own. Let me show you the project. Okay, so this is my Honda Civic uh, 1994 model. I had this car since the uh, university days um, when it was new. Uh, but because of the age, um, one of the first things that suffered is this uh, engine cover or the uh, engine cap. So that's why um, that's why I decided to give it some cosmetic modification to it. So I went to the nearest uh, hardware store and I got myself this red paint. And uh, of course I had some uh, rubber glove with uh, cloth to make, keep things clean. But you need to, go, to have a good engine cleaner or a degreaser. Now a good ex alternative is uh, a thinner. Now the problem with the thinner is it's uh, probably too strong and probably cause more harm than uh, good. So a good uh, a good degreaser it is. Now this is a regular hand drill and attached to it uh, you can see a metal brush. You can get it for, from uh, from uh, any hardware store. But uh, this is a homemade one, so you probably get a better one if you go to a hardware store so yeah and uh, of course you need uh, your tools you need to do uh, something to unscrew all the nuts and uh, a screwdriver uh, some clamps a hammer probably uh, and i had time to go to the car accessory or auto accessory and i got myself some o-rings and of course since i'm going to open the engine itself i need a good silicon uh, silicon glue uh, this is a special uh, silicon glue, this is a gasket uh, silicon glue and uh, here's, the, here's the object of uh, here's the subject, is it subject or object? Oh, never mind. So this is the engine cap, I'm going to start um, open, uh, removing it and open it uh, right now. Now uh, the first rule is you need to keep things clean as much as possible. Okay, so I'm going to use the uh, so I'm going to use uh, some leather glove and uh, okay, the engine cover is held by four screws oh, sorry, by four nuts now those two nuts in the front here I just uh, screw them off and now the other two nuts is uh, way in the back so you need to remove the, this uh, mission cable in order to access, uh, access to the back so um, those two here so, uh, then you, of course you need to uh, remove uh, the, uh, the screws that uh, that hold, you know, the accessory screw that holding the cables, the ignition cables, and so on. Just anything, anything attached to the engine cover, just just pull it and take it out. Okay. Oh, and uh, to remove this uh, hose, you need to release the clamp. Like okay, and just push. Just push it, push it, push it, push it back here. Push it back like this before you move the hole. Okay, uh, so um, then you need a good pull to remove the, the engine cap. Like that. And voila. It's up. That's up. Okay, uh, so I'm in the back of my house and uh, I need a good area to clean off, this, uh, to, to remove the grease, to remove the engine uh, engine oil. So I'm going to spray a good amount of it, a generous amount of this uh, degreaser. Uh, I specifically bought this, uh, this thing to, for this project. It cost about, I don't know, about 10 US dollars. It's not, it's not expensive, it's not that cheap also. But I'm, I'm not going to use it in the future, so I'm going to apply much of it. I'm going to waste much of it just in order to clean, make sure that every trace of oil has been removed. Okay. Uh, after this, after this, uh, after this course of treatment with this uh, chemical stuff, I'm going to wash it with regular water. All right. So after a good wash, uh, using the using the garden ho uh, water hose. 
Okay, I'm going to scrape off uh, the black area, the black paint. Okay, using using the uh, metal brush. Now uh, you can uh, you can always use uh, sandpaper or any other uh, any other materials, but it will take a long a lot of time. So if you uh, if you have um, you, you can borrow all the power tools. Uh, if you if you go to the hardware store, you probably find a better tool than this. This is a very actual improvised um, uh, tool. Um, so <laughs> you, uh, some of you who are, who are familiar uh, in this uh, scene probably laughing, looking, looking uh, laughing at my 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 uh, at my brush attached to this uh, handrail. But this is what I had. I don't. I'm not going. Not willing to pay extra amount of money to, uh, for something that I'm, that I really use. All right, so um, after a good uh, round, it's not perfect, but uh, it should be enough. So I need to uh, to plug all the holes here. I don't want I don't want any other paint to go inside the engine. So uh, after leaving uh, uh, leaving it under the sun for a few few minutes after it's dry completely, then only then you can start applying the red paint. Now this is not a regular uh, uh, spray paint. Um, this is this uh, this paint. This paint it has been specifically uh, manufactured or designed. It's been specifically made uh, uh, to be applied on engine parts. So uh, extreme heat or vibration or anything that uh, you know that the engine goes through, it would it won't, um, This this paint will resist uh, all the all the stuff. Okay, uh, so I applied already, this is my third uh, layer. Uh, after each layer, you probably need to leave it uh, to dry for, uh, for a few minutes. Uh, a good, maybe 15 to half an hour between each, uh, each application. But uh, because I'm doing it under the sun, under the heat, it's a good windy weather like this, so it will dry very quickly. So this is actually, even though uh, I see the paint has not completely dried, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, the, the main point is I, I probably have, should have uh, uh, given more time in this project. Um, I, I started this project and not, not in realizing that I had something to do this evening. So uh, yeah, I need to speed up things up. Okay, now this, this, these are the O-rings. Now the O-rings, uh, they spoil very quite easily. So that's why I, I bought the, uh, uh, a, I took the chance to replace the O-ring with the new ones. Uh, before you put uh, the new O-rings, you need to put a generous amount of the silicon uh, silicon glue. Now, again, uh, this uh, silicon glue or uh, is a specific or a special type of uh, silicon glue. It's not regular silicon glue that you can use it for the fish tank or something. No, this is this is specialized uh, silicon glue made for uh, the seal of uh, uh, seal of uh, gasket. Uh, uh, local market here they call it the gasket glue, but, um, but this is uh, probably wrong. So uh, as long as you, you, you talk to the, you, you can get this from the auto accessory shop, uh, and you have to tell them this. I want specifically to to use it to seal off uh, my gasket or my, uh, you know, uh, the seal off the in engine parts. Now yeah, um, on on the net. On the counterpart, uh, you may have to make you have to make sure that the metal counterpart here is clean. So, using a cloth with a degreaser and a thinner, I'm going to make sure that uh, this area is clean, free of the uh, oil. And now, um, before I apply the gaskets, uh, I'm going to apply a generous amount of uh, of, uh, of silicone glue before putting back. The, this this gasket. Now the gasket is this uh, rubber, this long rubber thingy that seals uh, the oil chamber from uh, you know to prevent it from leaking outside. Okay, but uh, uh, I, you, uh, if you had any problem with it, or you, you can you can take the chance uh, to replace uh, the gasket. But um, this uh, this uh, gasket is quite new, so I just need to replace this gasket. So. Uh, I'm not. I'm not willing to buy new ones. I'm, I'm not willing to replace it yet. Okay, so you apply again uh, the this um, silicone silicone uh, silicone glue, and you use, 
and I don't worry if you if you spill some of it inside. I have to tell you in advance, it, it is not spoil your engine. This is specifically designed for this purpose. So you just, you know, but you need to apply a generous amount of it uh, to make sure that, uh, yeah, it, uh, you, it, uh, you make sure that you provide a good seal. Alright. So most, most of the engine leak uh, occurs in all rings. So, yeah, everything is done. So, let's put it back. Okay. So uh, again, uh, the engine is uh, uh, the engine cover is held by four nuts. So you just uh, put them together. Uh, uh, I have to apologize. The weather suddenly changed. Uh, I don't know whether it's going to be or not. Um, it's a little after five o'clock. Yeah, it's about five o'clock something. Um, and then. At 7 o'clock, I, I need to go somewhere. Uh, I, I just remember I had an appointment. So, uh, after putting everything back together, yeah, uh, already it looks, it, it looks great. Yeah? I mean, compared to the, to the previous day. Yeah? So, I put back the engine, the engine oil uh, cap and cover. Then you put back the ignition cable like that, and it looks great, but but it has not finished yet. Okay, uh, so yeah, so it was that that it was that simple, right? Um, actually, actually, it's not done. I I I uh, the next step is uh, I'm going to use this uh, sandpaper to scrape off the uh, the the Honda lo the Honda and uh, the Honda logo. So using this small, a small piece of uh, sandpaper and uh, screwdriver, I'm going to push and strip off the paint like this. You can, you can see it. Uh, I don't know whether you can see it or not. Um, you can see that actually the paint is, has not completely done. Um, the, and um, it's always advisable to, uh, to leave to leave paint uh, dry before before you do, you do all these sort of things. But I'm not worried because. Um, because uh, if if anything go wrong, I can simply do redo it again. Right, even though my car is silver and black, the uh, I just had the main theme. I have some red here, some red there, and I'm proud to say that now I have some red over here also. As you can see, is the engine the engine cover looks great, even though the paint looks wet. It hasn't completely dried, so yeah. It would, probably it would have been a good uh, clean job if I waited uh, the paint to, clean, uh, to complete it right. Alright, uh, thank you for joining me. My name is Hani Mado and this is my channel. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, uh, join me on Facebook and Google Plus. And of course, uh, don't forget to check out my previous video.